Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us one more time to Art for All McNay Edition and Spring Break Edition. For this workshop, we'll be making a scene inspired by the work of Martin Gutierrez, who is one of the artists featured in the Limitless exhibition, Five Women Reshape Contemporary Art. Now, the reason why we're making a scene is because Martin Gutierrez um, prominently has a uh, magazine that she created herself called Indigenous Woman where she played all the roles in this magazine as editor, model, and product designer. So we're gonna to try to do something similar with our zine. So for this workshop, we'll need construction paper, computer paper, decorative paper, uh, some string scissors and glue, maybe a pencil and paintbrushes, that's up to you, it's optional, as well as some stickers. So we hope you enjoy. So to get started, I have all my materials here. I folded my construction sheet of paper, of colored paper, just so I can have, uh, just so I can know where it is. For this, this is, I'm using two sheets of this computer paper uh, for the inside and this colored paper that I'm gonna cut and this string that I'm gonna use for binding. So let's begin by cutting our paper. So you're gonna line them up. It's just simple to do them both at once. So I'm gonna line them up and fold. Make sure that they're even. Once I create this fold, I'm going to grab my scissors and cut along the fold. I'm going to line them up once again, fold them. Once again, cut alongside the fold. Now this will turn our two sheets into eight. So it quickly multiplies. For the cover of our scene, we're gonna grab our construction sheet of paper. We're gonna fold it once. Now I did this only one fold because we can decide which way we wanna um, have our cover work. If we want to have it this way, you will cut along this side and use one of these sheets to have it this way. But I think that I would like for mine to open more of an up and down. So more of this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the fold, fold once again. And like we said, if we wanted to open like a book, we would cut here. If we wanted to open like a little note taking little booklet cut this way. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut here. Just with that, I'm going to put my sheets inside and make sure they are as lined up as possible. And then I am going to fold the top forward. And back to create kind of a hinge. Now this hinge will be used with our scissors and I'm going to make one cut and then another cut. Now make sure you don't go all the way to the edge because then you will end up uh, cutting your sheet and not necessarily making anything. But what we're trying to do is make a hole. So make sure you don't come all the way, all the way out here. So I'm gonna to try to do that three times just really quickly. Okay. So just a little tip, if you cut all the way and it doesn't come off, it's good to just twist and the paper should come off. So now we have the holes for our scene. Now I made mine quite large and that's okay. They don't have to be that big. They can also be a design. They can be a circle or a heart. Uh, we just want some holes for our string. We're gonna grab our string and I'm just gonna cut a little bit of string. You don't need that much. Um, I say like about a foot, it's just more than enough. And I'm using a thin string for this. Um, you could use a thicker one if you're making a smaller composition. Smaller string is better, but just for this, for the purpose of our workshop, I'm using this string. 
So what you're going to do is from the front or what you've designated the front, you're going to come in, put it all the way out. And just here, when you have the last bit of the tail, you will make a knot. And then another one just for good measure. We'll go to the next hole. Once again, to the front, out. But this time, we are going to lift up our string. If you can see that, we're going to go right behind it, kind of securing it in place. That creates a nice, tight uh, bond right there. You can do it more than one time if you would like. I'm going to do it twice just to make sure it's nice and tight. Go into that same loop underneath, making sure it's tight. I'll repeat it on the last step. Once again, going to the front, out in the back, and looping through the string at the top. Now this part, we're going to make a knot. So we're going to go to the front, the back. And instead of pulling all the way through, we're just going to grab our string here and tie. Right, you can secure it once again, secure it to this if you want it to be really, really secure. So I'm going to just do that just to make sure that it's nice and safe. I'm going to go under one more time and pull it through. Make a knot. It's a very simple way of creating a nice binding. So now when you flip, your sheets should be secure. So I just want to make a nice cover for this. So I have some paper and some glue, the decorative paper. I'm going to use it, I think, as decoration. So I have this nice, uh, almost like a green colored one. So I am going to just very quickly and very roughly just cut what looks to me like a leaf you know, some elongated uh, leaf shapes. When I use glue, you can use a glue stick, or I can use some white glue. So glue this here at the cover. Perfect. I'll use this other color is like a tan brown in a way. Now I'm aware that my lighting might be a little bit different than the lighting from your video, but Trust me, it's a little bit of a nice little tan brown. So with this, I'm just going to freehand cut a flower. Really cool petals. All right. Same thing. I'm going to apply my glue. Put it in place. I'm it a little bit orangey in color. I'm just going to make a nice circle. So just very quick, very simple. You know, this can be a very graphic project. So you can uh, have really nice graphic edges, very hard edged. It doesn't have to be entirely perfect. Uh, this can be used for drawing or note keeping. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and have fun.